guys, thanks for joining my channel. Today we're going to show you how to create a free printable in Canva. Um, and I may go through this very quickly, so feel free to pause and rewind. But Canva is a free tool that you can use to create printables. Now I do normally create my printables in InDesign because it handles tables better, um, which makes things a little bit easier on you. But if you need a free tool, Canva is the way to go. And so that's what we're going to use today. From your created design menu, you're going to want to click Flyer, which is an 8.5 by 11. And today we're going to create a monthly bill pay checklist. So um, the first thing I like to do on my printables is go ahead and upload a background. Now I did already do this, so I'll go ahead and just drop it in until it goes full screen there. Then what I want to do is you can't really write or do anything with this kind of a pattern so I want to add a shape. So I'm going to add a square shape and if it's not in your recently used panel it's going to be down here in shapes, all, and select the square. So I'm going to kind of move it up and then just kind of eyeball what size I want. And then of course I want that to be white so it'll come out the color of the paper. Next we're going to add in some text and I want to have this be, oops, bill pay and I like a nice script for that so let's do playlist and make it a little bit bigger and then I want to do another word checklist and I like to use a combination of a script and a typewriter font for my blog. So I'm just going to pick one of the typewriter fonts. Oh, I don't like that one. And then I'm going to make that bigger as well. And see how it kind of wrapped? That's okay. I'm just going to drag my text box a little bigger. And then I'm going to line this up. And let's make that just a little bit bigger. It's not quite... There we go. Okay, so right now when I clicked on the white, you can see it selected the white because I've got the four corners marked here. I want to just hit the lock button. That'll prevent me from accidentally selecting the white box again. Then I'm going to click, hold, and drag. I'm going to go position, middle. That's going to make sure that they're aligned middle, which I had already done. And now I want to group them. And the reason for that is now when I move it around, it's going to move them as a unit. And I can see where middle is. Right there with that pink line that goes all the way down. Okay. So this is going to be an annual checklist. So I know for sure I'm going to have like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, that kind of thing. And I've got to think, what do I want them to check off? Do I want it to be a square? Do I want it to be a... Now, I've got a star background, so I, you know it would be really cool is to use a star. And then I'll color it with my color and bring down the transparency, let's say, to 50. So I'll use stars for the people to check off what bills have been paid. So I'm actually going to zoom in because these are going to need to be a little bit small. Now I need 12 of these stars, one for each month, so let's select it and then go Control c Control v and I'm just going to do it until we have 12, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it did, doesn't matter that they're all like that, let me show you why. I'm going to pick one up here and I'm going to pick one up here. You can see it told me that they're aligned, right? But then I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to go Position middle. Okay, so that just made them all so that they're at the middle. Now, let me show you what's important here. Wherever I want the first one to start, I'll position it. Wherever I want the last one to end, I'll position it. Okay, then you select, go to position, space evenly, horizontally. And see what that did was it automatically spaced them evenly. So I can fix this up if I 
don't like the way that happened, I can, if I need to narrow it, I can move it in. Select, position. I'll make sure they're middle and then space evenly horizontally. And then now I can move this up as a unit. So I do actually want these stars to be different colors based on um, what they are doing. So there's four different colors that match my theme. So I want blue, green, and yellow. green, yellow. Okay. So once I have those, I'm going to group them. And now I can copy as far down as I want. Pick up these groups. Oops. No, what I want to do is position. And this time I want center. Okay, so they're, oops, these ones weren't included. So we'll move these over, pick them up again, position, center, space evenly. And this time we want to do vertically. There we go. And I'll actually bring this down a little bit closer to the bottom. And then position center, space evenly, vertically. And then I'll move this over to the right. So that's got our monthly checklist on there, our little monthly check boxes. Now we need to go ahead and give them some place to fill in the data. So we want to do, let's try a square. I think this is going to be too big, but we'll see. So I kind of want it to be the same height as these. And do you see how that won't go smaller? That's kind of the frustrating thing. I can make it smaller though by doing this. Okay. So it wouldn't go smaller with this tool, but it would go with the, the corner tool. And then I'm going to use this tool and this vertical line to make it smaller here. I think I want two columns. I think I want, now we'll just do one. Okay, so we're going to do the bill amount, the bill rather. And I want to do, let's see what color. Um, we can alternate colors here too, I guess, if we wanted. And then do blue. And then do green and then do yellow. Oops. So I actually figured out that it would be easier to just take the four rows and align them first and then duplicate them down. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting them, making sure they're aligned middle. And then I want to ungroup the stars so that I can wrap the bill um, label into the same group so that it's a whole line that's one group. And so you'll see me do that for each of the four different types of line, the yellow line, the green line, the blue line, and the pink line, where I'm aligning the group of stars to the middle with the label. And then I'm ungrouping the stars so that I can group them again with the label. Okay, and there's the last one. Oops, there we go. Group this. Now we're going to select these four groups and go position, center, and then kind of get the spacing right. Position. Um, actually, we don't even need to worry about that. Let's just make some copies. So you can see it can be a trial and error process as you go along to create your printables. Um, you just got to kind of learn it and um, play with it. So now we're going to select this 
Um, yeah, we're just going to select the whole group and position space evenly vertically. There we go. And then ah, select the whole group. And then just, I want to move that down. And then up here, I want to go ahead and create my header. So we'll put in some text. We're going to go bill expense in our typewriter font. Um, and let's make that all caps. And make it smaller. And left align. So we're going to do bill expense and then actually let's make that center. Okay, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to do January, February, etc. etc. So we're going to copy this. And it's going to be easier just to do them one by one. And we know there's space equally, so March, April. Okay. And then the last thing to do is just add some finishing touches. I'm going to move this up to give it a little bit more space. Um, I like this white a lot, but I want to put a border. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to unlock it, copy it, and make this one a little bit bigger. And then position to back so that it just pops a little bit more. And then I also want to add my web address or my logo. So um, I have a couple different things. Oops, let me lock that again. Let me lock this blue one too. Okay. So I can either add my pig, which is my um, part of my logo. Oops. So I like to do that to my printables. So if I add him in, then I move this guy over. And I can actually um, ungroup this and then select all three and group them and then do the center line trick again. There. Um, and then the other thing I like to do is make sure that I have my web address on my free printables on all of them. So I'll go down to um, create a small Uh, a small little rectangle and then um, what color do we want that and then I will put my URL in there and again I like to use the typewriter font I'll trim this up a little bit. And I think we're good to go. So the next step is just to go here and to download. And you can download it however you like. I like to do a PDF print. I don't know if that's available on the free version or not. If it's not, you can do JPEG and then print to PDF. Let's download this and have a look at it. Okay, we're going to just, sure, okay, bill pay, this is a Canva sample. And then let's open that and have a look.
And there we go. That's our free printable that we can put as an opt-in on our website. Um, now, one of the things that's great about Canva that I want to show you really, really quick is that let's say you want to offer different color schemes or different templates. It's really easy to go in and change backgrounds and that kind of stuff. So, for example, if we wanted this blue background, we could just come in and drop it in there. It'll take. There we go. And just kind of change things out without it being. Um, and you could do that as well with any of your backgrounds that you've uploaded. Um, you know, so I've. If you can add it in there. So I've created various, I have various patterns. Let me find one. Ah, so you can just add your different colors or patterns or backgrounds, whatever you have um, to change things up. The other thing that you can do is, let me put this back. If you want to change your colors, so I'm going to unlock this blue layer. And let's say I want to change this blue to this neon blue. I can select the neon blue, but here's what's neat. Look down here at the bottom. You can change all everything from that lighter blue to the neon blue by clicking the change all. I don't know if you saw what that just did, but it also changed these blue stars. So for example, if we ungroup and we pick this pink up and we change it to the neon pink, we can go down here to change all and see how it just goes through and changes everything from the lighter color to the darker color. So if I wanted to change this yellow to orange, for example, I could do that here and then change all. So you could very easily with Canva go in and with InDesign, which I normally use as well, but you can very easily create a variety of different color options um, if you wanted to. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. My channel is mostly about budgeting and saving, but I do have some information on there on how I manage my blog. And the reason for that is my blog helps me with my paying my bills and my savings and that kind of thing. It's how I make a little bit of side income. It's my side hustle, if you will. Thank you so much for joining.